The single trooper aerial platform, also known as the Stap Speeder, was a fast and agile speeder used by the Trade Federation during the invasion of Naboo. It could carry one person at extremely high speeds into battle, clocking in at about 248 miles per hour or 400 kilometers per hour. It was equipped with twin forward mounted light blaster cannons that were used to protect itself or take down enemies in a pinch. It had two color schemes during the Clone Wars, one which was all brown for the Trade Federation and one that was blue and gray for the CIS. The LEGO version of the Stap Speeder has shown up in at least six different sets, the most recent being in the Clones vs. Droids battle pack from earlier this year. In all honesty, LEGO hasn't really been able to get the design of this just right yet, but I can see why. With such a small vehicle, it is extremely hard to get all the proportions and details right. There are quite a few mocks out there that do a decent job of showcasing the Stap Speeder better than LEGO does, but they don't do quite good enough in my opinion. This is is where I come in with my new and improved Stap Speeder mock. Without further delay, here are the instructions. Let's get into the build. And there's my completed Stap Speeder. I'm super proud of how well this mock turned out. It captures all of the details of the source material and does so at the correct scale. The defining factor of custom LEGO Stap Speeders, in my opinion, is how well they execute the head. All of LEGO's versions have the head at least two studs wide. I find this to be the main issue of their Stap Speeders because the head should be no larger than one and a half studs wide. I fixed this in my model and I think it looks great. Another thing that I think LEGO doesn't usually do well is the platform platform on which the driver is supposed to stand. In their most recent model, they use cheese wedges, which are a bit too short and stubby. In the older models, they use a T-bar and a wing, which captures the thinness of the platform, but they are way too long. My solution to this was to use a rounded half 1x1 one one and a 1x1 one one clip plate. The only true downside to that that I can think of is this mock needs better handlebars. In order for a battle droid minifig to pilot the Stap Speeder, I had to put a 1x1 one one round plate with a bar on the head. I 
plan on finding out an alternative that is a little bit more symmetrical. Even with this critical error, I still believe this mock is close to perfect. For my mock rating, I would give it a 9 out of 10 for stability, a 9 out of 10 for accuracy, a 10 out of 10 for sleekness, a 9 out of 10 for scale, a 9 out of 10 for detail, a 9 out of 10 for functionality, a 9 out of 10 for availability, a 10 out of 10 for part usage, a 10 out of 10 for piece count, and a 9 out of 10 for cool factor. This would give it a 93 out of 100, or an A. Thanks for watching! If you want to see more tutorials like this, give this video a like and a share, and please consider subscribing. It really does help me out. Also, join the Discord. We have a really great community. See you in the next video!